Okay, hey, this is John of CZ Grain, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to plant some seedlings. Plant a couple different types. We're gonna plant a red oak seedling, and we're gonna plant a hybrid chestnut. The hybrid chestnut, I'm gonna use this protectant. This is a miracle grow tube. Because here in Iowa, the deer will just decimate the chestnut. They're very popular with the deer. So we're gonna use this protector around the chestnut. And I recommend these around all fruit trees. Here in Iowa, where the deer are bad, you got to do it. So we'll start with the hole. Okay, now you can use the soil you dug out of the hole if you want. I prefer to use my own soil. So much easier, I use potting soil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive this stake next to the, right, right inside the hole. And this is gonna hold the grow tube. Okay. I got my chestnut tree. This is a hybrid chestnut. If you're looking to attract deer to your farm, buy these from CZ Green. We also sell the seeds. This is a year old seedling. Deer go wild for them, just for the nuts. So I want this, you can see right here, that's where we pulled it out of the ground. That's the grow point. So I want the soil to be right there. So then I'm gonna put it in here. And this is CZ grain soil. I highly recommend it. It's an all organic mix of Several things, including bat guano, worm casings, just a really great natural soil that'll last about 90 days. It's just so much easier than handling this clay. This clay is wet and it's cloddy. It does work, but even if I'm planting a couple hundred trees, I use CZ grain soil. Okay, I'm gonna map that around there. Okay, that's pretty good. So now I'm gonna use some mulch. This is premium red mulch. And we've got it like Lowe's or Home Depot. This is gonna really help keep the weeds and grasses from competing with your new tree. Need about a half a bag per tree. Get it around there like that. And that's really gonna keep moisture in around your tree and it's gonna keep the weeds and plants from growing. Don't forget the, the water. Always want to water your plants. Give it a good drink. And it's fall here in Iowa. This is the ideal time to plant trees. You know, fall, early winter, or spring is the ideal time to plant bare root trees. You can plant them in summer, but that sun can cook them. Okay. So this, this miracle tube it comes with zip ties already on it. So I'm gonna put it over my post. Get the tree in there. See that? And I'm gonna kinda get that so it's down in there. And then these zip ties here, I'm just gonna Tighten the zip ties. Okay. Not just that tree is gonna grow great. In a couple years, it'll pop outside of this thing, and then eventually I can remove this completely, but that's gonna grow just perfectly. I might water it a couple times, especially next summer if it gets super hot. But other than that, that's gonna grow really well. Okay, next we're gonna plant a red oak tree. Let me grab it. This is a red oak seedling. It's about three foot tall. Now, on the fruit tree, I showed you the, the protecting tube. I'm not gonna do that with this tree. I am gonna use a stake though. We're gonna stake it and plant it. And I will show you, check out this tree here. This is a tree I planted earlier this year. You can see what the deer do. This uh, deer's been rubbing on this. So I do recommend if you're just planting a couple trees and you want them to be guaranteed to survive, you use a grow tube or even just some sort of a fence around it. I plant so many trees out here. 
that I don't protect them all, we, we understand that we're gonna have a little bit of a loss. But if you're just planting a couple, I would fence around them if you have deer. This tree might survive. He decimated that sucker. Chewed up on the dang thing here. But that tree might survive. It has some bark left on it. We'll say a prayer for it. So we're gonna plant this red oak. These are available on Amazon, Etsy, wherever we sell. I mean, you're gonna get a tree just like this. This is exactly what we sell. You buy it, we'll dig it up and send it to you. Late summer and fall is the best time to grow them. The worst time is the peak summer heat. So I'll dig a hole again. Okay, so this one has a significantly larger root base on it. It's obviously taller. Might go a little bit deeper. Okay, so again, plant the tree right at the collar. Right there, you want that sticking out of the ground. You want this root ball underneath the ground. And this hole is gonna be perfect, as you can see. So, I'm gonna drive my stake. Drive my stake right there. And this is just gonna hold the tree up for a year or two while it gets established. Okay. All right. Now I use CZ Green soil. And there's many good soils out there. I just would not use miracle Grow. miracle Grow, when you put it next to these bare roots, might sting your plant. It's great for flowers. I just don't love it for trees. Okay. Again, we use mulch. I really recommend mulch. Keeps the moisture in and weeds out. It's one of the best things you can do for a new tree. And it also biodegrades into soil. Okay. That's pretty good. I am gonna zip tie the tree about halfway up. Has it roots there. Next summer I'll come along and pop this zip tie off and pull that stake out and water it. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to put protection around this tree. If I was gonna plant two or three of these for landscaping and I was in an area where there are deer, I would. But I'm out here in Iowa, we plant thousands of these a year. This is just more for instructional. But if you're in an area where there's deer, and you want to guarantee this tree success, I would use a miracle grow tube or just put a fence around it. You'll get a piece of fence, put a fence around it. And that's it. I'll come back and water it maybe in a week. It's November here, it's gonna get cold. This tree will be dormant here pretty soon, but it doesn't hurt to water it. Other than that, check out Amazon. We have several types of fruit bearing and deciduous trees we sell. And we really appreciate your business. Thanks.